Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video here on this channel. Today we are diving into the best apps for visual thinkers and designers. So there are a lot of visual note-taking apps out there, but I like to differentiate them. So we have things like Heptabase, Grintle and Napkin, which I think is great visual note-taking apps, but they are great visual note-taking apps for people who like to write their notes in this video we are going to cover some apps that are good at writing uh, notes as well, but most of them will rely on images and being more visual in that sense. And we are going to start off with X-Tiles. This application is really easy to explain. Imagine Notion, just a little more visual. Here you have the ability to add tiles on your board and you can move these tiles around. You can add uh, images inside of these tiles if you would like to. So let me just put an image in here just for the sake of this video and you can drag things around. So this is a visual application but it is also more of a project manager than um, a lot of the other applications on this list. This is really similar to Notion. So if we jump into my social media ideas board, we get databases and here I have a bunch of different properties to choose from. So I can add linked notes from my resources database. I have a multi-select column, I have a status column and we can have a board view of this as well. I, in general, really like the app but I have um, a couple of problems with it. I feel like it has some of the same problems as Notion, that it is a little slow, but I like the fact that it is more visual. You also have a way to see all of your tasks, your notification, and they have an amazing free plan, which uh, gets you going and uh, far more than that as well. So if you're not looking for uh, something special, uh, the free plan will get you really, really far. And the paid plans aren't too bad either. The next app we are going to talk about is an app called Walling. Uh, this again is highly visual. This performs a little worse with text and a lot better with images. It has OCR so you can search for things within images as well. So it has optical character recognition. Uh, but here I have just set up a board with uh, for my different social media ideas and this uh, to make this I actually used Walling AI which is something new they have introduced to be able to help you build these walls or boards uh, and have uh, different things inside of them. You can drag things along. But as I said, this performs uh, better with uh, images than, uh, for example, X tiles, as you can see here. So we can add a new cover. I can add a new brick here. I can add tasks within my brick. I can insert code blocks, images, files, checklists. So there are a lot of things I can actually insert. I can link to another wall as well, but let's just go ahead and add an image just to try it out. Let's use Unsplash for this uh, and let's just add it inside of here. We can replace it with another one and you get the point. So uh, as I said, this is a lot more visual in that sense when it comes to images uh, compared to something like X-Tiles. Uh, and I really like this application. I used it for a while uh, when I first started my PKM journey because I, I've pretty much tried every single app and this was one of my favorites. What I dislike about it and the reason for why I didn't end up actually uh, using this app is the fact that it is, um, it does not perform well at all when you do longer form writing, which is something I tend to do and it doesn't do too great of a job for note taking, like just taking notes like this when you have a lot of notes. It has great search, which helps a little bit, but uh, 
I just personally didn't like it too much. Now let's jump into the next one or before we do that let's take a look at the pricing. So I have uh, I have a coupon right here right now uh, but the main pricing is eight dollars each month uh if you bill it yearly if you bill it monthly it is also actually eight dollars each month so it isn't a huge difference it is actually the same on the yearly and the monthly but i have um i have the option of uh getting the yearly plan for six dollars with the special yearly plan offer and this is something I get all the time inside of this application. But for the price of this, uh, I mean, it isn't too bad. Um, so the pricing on this isn't too bad compared to a lot of the other market. With this, you get unlimited AI credits, unlimited walls, custom colors, white label uh, walls, unlimited wall guests, API and integrations coming soon. Uh, due dates and reminder, unlimited file uploads. So this is actually huge. You want unlimited file uploads in an app like this. But the pricing is quite good compared to the rest of the productivity market. So the next app we have is actually one of my favorites. This is called Milanote. And Milanote is more of a traditional project management application. Like you can see here, I've created myself boards. Uh, and once again, I am getting a special offer. I will get back to the pricing later, but this is more of your um, uh, typical project management application. So you can use this for project management, but let's jump into this board actually. The way this app works is that you have uh, boards and you can have boards within boards so similar to folders but there are a couple of other things uh, with this application as well you have the ability to add files to your boards and you can actually use lines to uh, connect different things together manually uh, which is really fun to do and it has some benefits as well when you're working on a project but you can add files and you can even add Adobe Creative Cloud files, which I know that a lot of people working in design uh, use. Uh, I use them uh, a lot myself. That's why I used this application for a while when I was doing a lot of um, a lot of uh, illustrations and uh, fashion designs. I use this application a lot, but you can also use it to take notes like I've done here. So I have my quotes here. I have book notes. Uh, I have a lot of different notes here. I have my voice notes here as well. And I also have one called note taking apps where I have all of the different note-taking apps I have reviewed, not all of them, but a lot of them. And as you can see, this app is probably the most visual one we have seen yet with whiteboards and boards inside of those whiteboards. And you can easily just drag things on top of here. Uh, you can even drag tables on top of here. Uh, I have a, a full workspace, so I can't actually do that right now, but you, uh, can drag thing, uh, things into your whiteboard. So basically a whiteboarding application and you have the ability to draw here as well. And if you have an uh, iPad with an Apple Pencil, that is, it is really good to be able to draw if that is something you like to do. I personally like drawing, so I tend to use that or I used to use that a lot. So Milanote, uh, has a free plan you have a hundred notes images or links 10 file uploads and unlimited shared boards on the free plan but for uh, 9.99 each month you get unlimited of everything uh, or 12.50 each month if billed monthly so that's the pricing for Milanote. the next application we are going to jump into is actually a fine an application I have talked about uh, before uh, I've done a couple of videos on it again more similar to notion with the databases what this adds 
uh, is uh, that you can turn these pages into uh, whiteboards quite quickly. So if I just close this, I can go into what's called edgeless mode and I get a whiteboard. And inside of these whiteboards, I can actually add images. So let's try this. This was actually from my podcast episode um, with super notes. So I can add this, I can fix it up uh, and drag it where Ever I want to I can present inside of here and I can add frames so more of your typical whiteboarding application which is something uh, that a lot of note-taking apps do not have like the typical whiteboard uh, and it allows you to think more visually and even use images uh, to help you think and brainstorm ideas so i am a really big fan of affine i won't talk too much about them since i've made many videos on them before but i like the ability to have whiteboards and the fun part is if you start writing in the whiteboard and you go back to the page mode it will actually show up in the page mode as well so you could do all of your outlining in uh, a whiteboard and jump into the page and have the outline right in front of you. So that is, again, uh, really, really cool. They've recently added AI as well. And we are going to take a look at the pricing. So you can get a fine AI for $8.9 uh, each month. Uh, but they also have um, pricing plans here. This is on the uh, cloud. They will have self-hosting coming soon. Uh, so free forever, unlimited local workspaces, unlimited use and customization. So unlimited of almost everything. 10 gigabytes of cloud, cloud storage, 10 megabytes maximum file size, up to three members, seven days cloud time machine file version history. That was really hard to say. Up to three login devices. Well, the pro plan, which costs you six seventy five, gives you everything from the basic plan, but you get more storage, more members, um, longer version history, comments, community support, and real-time syncing and collaboration for more people. They also have a team plan. This is billed annually. If you bill it monthly, it costs you seven ninety nine. So close to a lot of the other applications on the market this is again more of your traditional whiteboarding tool uh, rather than a project management tool like some of the other applications i've mentioned well this last application here is your typical note-taking app this is just a note-taking app and uh it's been one I've been playing around with. Inside of here, you can add color swatches like you can do in Milanote. So this is a colored, uh, color swatch. You can add tweets, quotes from different websites. It is really good at capturing and it has great search as well. Let's just try and search for sky because I think a lot of images will uh, show up and it does. So these are automatically tagged with sky, I think, at least some of them. Uh, this is tagged with sky. So the AI inside of the app tag things for you so you don't have to. Uh, and um, you get uh, to see all of your images and you can press uh, the same vibe button right here and it will show you a bunch of images with the same quote unquote vibe as the one you are looking at. So a highly visual note-taking app. Imagine uh, Pinterest uh, with the search uh, of Google. That's probably the best way to describe it. We have deep searches inside of here so instead of uh, instead of organizing things you actually just put things into air and let the ai organize for you and you get this whole visual space you also have something called spaces which is basically smart folders you have smart collections inside of affine as well uh, super notes has something like that as well so this is becoming more and more popular where you let the application just organize things for you uh, so 
this is basically uh, my reading list. I tag it with read later and it appears inside of here. So this is a fun application, more your typical note-taking app compared to the others I've talked about in this video. And the pricing on this is either $6.90, I think, uh, or $12.90, depending on what plan you want. With the $12.90 plan, you get the ability to have article backups and reading mode inside of the app. I think I'm paying for uh, the $12.90 plan. Let's see. Yes, I am. And you also get this uh, AI summary as well of the articles you put inside of the application. That's everything I had for you in today's video. Now it's time for me to go and watch some football. Thank you so, so much for watching today's video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below and I will try to get to them as soon as I can. Thank you so, so much.